Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the definitions of unit step sequence and the unit sample. These are basically discrete time versions of the unit step signal and the impulse signal. We will also look at a brief analysis of the interrelationship between the step sequence, the unit step sequence and the unit sample. First, let us look at the definition. Discrete time unit step sequence it is basically values of 1 at all the values of n from 0 to infinity so we have ones from n equal to 0 to infinity this is the unit step sequence denoted by u of n and Mathematically, it is defined as u of n is equal to 1 for n greater than or equal to 0 and 0 for n less than 0. The unit sample or unit impulse is defined as unit impulse is defined as a value 1 at n equal to 0. That is u. It is denoted by delta of n, which is equal to 1 for n equal to 0 and 0 elsewhere. Unlike the continuous version of the impulse signal, here in the discrete time, it is the relation between the unit impulse and the unit step sequence is straightforward. That is, that is delta of n, that is the unit sample is equal to the difference between the unit step sequence u of n and its delayed version. And the delay is equal to 1. So, delta of n that is the unit sample is equal to u of n that is the unit step sequence minus its delayed version where the delay is equal to 1. This is rather straightforward to see. That is, if this is the unit step sequence it is n equal to 0, 1, 2 and so on. And if you subtract and this is the delayed version that is u of n minus 1. The signal or the sequence in black is u of n and the difference between these two is this single value which is the unit sample or unit impulse. This is the delta of n. Now let us look at the relation between u of n that is defining u of n in terms of delta in terms of delta of n that is u of n is equal to the sum m equal to minus infinity to n the delta of m that is the unit step sequence is given by at a value n is given by the sum of all the unit impulses from m equal to minus infinity to n that is for example for n equal to 0 you basically add all the unit impulses from m equal to minus infinity up to 0. However, the only the value at m equal to 0 is 1 and everything else is 0. So, u of 0 is still 1 and similarly u of 1 and so on. Now, by replacing m with n minus k and its limits become that is the values for m equal to infinity k becomes k becomes positive infinity and for m equal to n k becomes 0. Therefore, an alternative definition of the unit step sequence is from in terms of the impulses is k equal to 0 to infinity delta of n minus k. That is summation of the delayed impulses from k equal to 0 to infinity. Now, let us look at a graphical representation of this summation. First, let us look at u of n is equal to the sum m equal to minus infinity to n delta of m. Assume that this is the axis m. And the values are from minus infinity to plus infinity. And assume that, assume that this is the n axis. So, the values are from 0, 1, 2 and so on. So, for n equal to 0, we have m equal to minus infinity to n that is up to 0. So, the values are and the values of the unit impulse are zeros. 
for all the values of m except at m equal to 0, where it is 1. And similarly, for n equal to 1, the values are for m equal to 1 and n equal to 1, the value is 1. And everywhere else, it is still 0. Similarly, for n equal to 2, the value is 1 here and 0 everywhere else. So for n equal to 0, if we add all the values of the signal, we basically get a sum equal to 1. So it is equal to 1. And we can clearly see that the value of the sum is only 1 at, or value of this map is only 1 at n equal to m, that is along this straight line, with, which is having a slope equal to 1. And the sums for n equal to 0 is 1, n equal to 1 is also equal to 1 because there is only 1 here and all the other values are zeros. And similarly for n equal to 2. So 1, 2 and this is the n axis and this is u of n. Now let us look at u of n is equal to k equal to 0 to infinity delta of n minus k that is delayed versions of the unit impulse. Assuming that this is the axis of k and this is the axis n, these are the values 1, 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on and the values of k are 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on up to infinite. Here again for n equal to 0 and k equal to 0, we have the signal value equal to 1 and everywhere else on k axis it is 0. For n equal to 1 and k equal to 0, the value is 0. And for n equal to 1 and k equal to 1, the value is 1 and 0 everywhere else on this n equal to 1 line. And similarly, for n equal to 2, the value is again 1 on the point n equal to 2, k equal to 2. So, we have 1s so only on the line n equal to k. So, for n equal to 0, when you sum all the values on n equal to 0 line, that is on the k axis, we get the value 1 at n equal to 0. And similarly, for this line that is for n equal to 1, that is a line parallel to the k axis, we only have 1 for n equal to k equal to 1. So, the sum is still again 1. Similarly, for n equal to 2, this is u of n. So, for both the sums or both the formulas, we basically have ones only on the axis n equal to k or n equal to m. Thus, the unit step sequence is basically a summation of the, the delayed versions of the unit impulse. Thanks for watching.